So what I'm going to do today is smoke a baby back rib on my brand new Weber Smoky Mountain. And I've done a smoke one time before. This is just a little leftover charcoal. But I'm going to throw some hickory right in the center as well as some, this is onion and garlic spice in here just for a little flavor. I'm going to put all that in the center of it where it's going to be the hottest. And then right over here, I've got some hot charcoal. But first, I'm just going to go ahead and fill this thing up with non-cooked charcoal. Might add just a little more. Remove some of these charcoals from here to the sides. Leave a little in the center. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put this hot coals right in the center. And just very carefully, without getting any water on the charcoal, I'm going to fill this up. So I got the water, fan, uh, water pan filled about three-fourths full. And then we're just going to go ahead and add the bottom grate and the top grate. Let's go ahead and add the bottom grate. And the top grate. I'm going to leave all three of the bottom vents open. I'm going to go ahead and leave the top open for now. And we're going to get this up to about 275 to 300 degrees, somewhere right in there. I'm going to show you now how I went ahead and got them seasoned up. Uh, this is the time we'll do that and uh, get the seasoning on the ribs and then we'll put them on here as soon as we get the temperature. So first let us go ahead and add some mustard. It's a nice sticking agent on the uh, backbone of the rib and rub it in real nicely all over. Uh, this will allow the rub to go ahead and stick. Then I'm going to add my SPG which is just some salt, pepper, and garlic. There's a little cumin and mixed in and paprika. And on this one, I'm gonna add some sweet mesquite barbecue as well, just uh, to add a little more a crust and flavor to these ribs. And I'm just gonna repeat on the meaty side of it as well. Uh, I've already removed the membrane. It is clean on the back side also, uh, but salt, pepper, and garlic, as well as the sweet uh, mesquite barbecue seasoning and kind of clean it up to square off a little bit of a piece there but we'll throw that on the grill and and have that a little bit as well and then just make sure that the ends are seasoned real good and let that set while I get the charcoal ready and let that uh, for about a half hour and it'll go ahead and bring the juices out a little bit and then we'll be getting this on the grill on that Weber, Weber Smoky Mountain. So it's been about 30 minutes. It, the temperature's still climbing and we're at 225. We're gonna continue to let that climb uh, until it gets up to 275 or 300 and then we'll start to slow it down. But we're gonna go ahead and put these on so it'll start smoking uh, right away. We're gonna go ahead and put the bone side down right across there like that add this little piece right here and now we're just going to let them cook go ahead and let that temperature keep heating up in about an hour i'm going to add some barbecue sauce to them wrap them in some butcher paper throw them on for another hour we're going to look for about 200 degrees on these uh, that'll be the perfect temperature hopefully we can get there in about two hours we'll see if this gets hot enough to get there in that time frame so if you're new to this channel my name is john and this is the Oki smoking channel where we do everything cooked outdoors on the weber 
Smoky Mountain now, Blackstone Griddle, and more, as well as the pit barrel. So be sure and subscribe if you haven't already. And we're going to go ahead and let this cook, and I'll be back in about an hour, and we'll see what the what they look like. And it's been about 30 minutes after I put the ribs on, and we are hovering right almost at 300 degrees. That temperature did continue to climb. And if it continues to start to climb over 300, I'll just kind of close off a little bit of these vents on the bottom here uh, so that it will not get too hot. That being said, that is one of the things early on I've noticed about the Weber Smoky Mountain that I like is it does take time to heat up, so you got to remember that, uh, but it doesn't heat up super fast. And I've used some offset smokers and some other things, and sometimes you have trouble keeping the temperature down. Um, this one has been really, really good on the first couple of cooks of testing it out and keeping that temperature more on the lower side. So this is definitely great for that slow cook. And while I'm doing some fairly quick ribs of just a couple hours and on the hotter side i'll do some other ones that may be four or five hours that fall off the bone but i'm just looking for a little bite bone a little bite into it and a real good rib here and that's what we're trying to accomplish in this uh, particular uh, video now there is also i've researched this a lot some people that don't use the water pan and some people that do i've been using it I've, everything seems to work fine with it and that's what it's designed for and there may be a cook or two where i don't but um, i've just been feeling it about three fourths full like i did in this video or or so and um, following the the way that it's designed to be used and it, i've been happy with it so far so we're going to let this cook another half hour and then we'll wrap it so it's now been one hour and uh, the temperature has been holding steady right here at just under 300 degrees it got to 300 and i went ahead and uh Put each one of these about half and it fell to 275 and I went ahead and brought them back about half of that so it's about 80% open and uh, it's been holding steady at 300 so it has been uh, doing a nice 300 degree or just under between 275 and 300 so let's take a look inside looking nice looking nice we're gonna take this I think this little piece here's Good and done, take that off. And we're gonna take these in. Let's go ahead and look at the other side. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Let's go ahead and take this inside. We're gonna go ahead and wrap them up, throw it back on the smoker. So let's go ahead and add some uh, barbecue sauce on my butcher paper and lay the meat side down. I'm using head country. You can use your favorite barbecue sauce or even make your own. Rub it in real good on that side and place some on the bone side and go ahead and brush that on and simply fold over and then take the ends of it and fold that over as well. And then I'm just going to go ahead and turn it back over. It'll hold that way on the grill. And then I will just go ahead and place that back on the Weber Smoky Mountain and let it cook for about one more hour until we get to about 200 degrees. And uh, we'll take a look at it again. Can't wait. So when I originally started this, I was trying to get this done in about two hours and it took a little longer. We're at about two and a half and everything is coming together nicely. This just is like jelly now going through it. And we've got a temperature reading of 199 plus, which is what we were looking for. Uh, so it's time to go ahead and take these ribs off. Hit a bone there. Take these ribs off and um, let them set a minute. And then we'll go ahead and give them a try. So part of the reason I think it took a little longer is we did put these on when it was a little under 300 degrees. That's the target temperature we're looking for. We put it on at 225. It took about a half hour to get there. Um, but I think they came out great. Three hours, we'll definitely get them done. Two and a half is where we're at on these, and they're ready to go. Um, and we're going to eat.
That is very tender, very moist. Wow. Got all those flavors that smoke. Not disappointed at all. If you need a, a quicker cook of this, worked fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and eat. And I will see you guys in the next video. My name is John. This is the Oki Smoking Channel. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below if you did. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.